So almost ready to get underway. And today's starter, Matt Waldron. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. J.P. Crawford leading things off and takes a strike. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. The throw to first. One out in the top of the first. Now Scott Service lined up for the Seattle Mariners. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Mitch Garver. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? Merrill makes the play out number two. Batting third, the second base. Two outs, Cal. base is empty. Whoa. Cal Raleigh up next for the Mariners. Raleigh hitting third in the lineup, oh, and he was a third-round pick back in 2018. Deal two. This one popped up. Higashioka drifts towards it. And that is that. We're midway in inning number one. No score. here at Petco Park and on the hill the big righty Emerson Hancock what's the word on him well no doubt about it he's going to have to put together some consistently good performances in order to bring that ERA go, down now he's got good stuff he's just got to be able to have confidence trusted and really go after hitters not middle trusted his stuff can have late life in miss barrels of bats Luis Arias stands in now and watches strike one ball to the right side and foul ball the wind of the pitch and that one in the air center field and it drops in so a man on base to start the inning hitting is really easy for some guys one thing that I can see already is bat stays in the zone all for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Jerickson Profar in the box now. No balls and a strike. Rudder at first with no outs here. Rudder takes off. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Brooke comes in quickly. So even with the runner on the move, he holds it second. A couple of singles back to back. That ball right there landed in what they call the no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. They've got to go a long way as well. Now here's Jake Cronenworth. I'm curious how he decides to attack on the mound. This guy at the plate has been great oh, under no. pressure this year. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. That ball is foul. And the pressure is building. Righty delivers. Got him. And that is a big first out. Well, 
Just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff pouring in on his hands. Now Machado up here. Outside low, and that's ball one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Two on, one out. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The pitch. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Makes the catch for the second out. That is it. The first base hit. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, an offense that emphasizes a patient approach and controlling the strike zone, and they do it better than anyone. Right now, the top on base percentage in the league. And the frustration that can cause for the opposing pitcher, the opposing staff, because you're not going to go through these hitters quickly. They're going to be lengthy at bats. They're going to foul off pitches and many times end up taking a close oh, sorry, pitch ball. for ball four that that pitcher maybe thought was a third strike. So, you know, teams like this, they can be really good in the long haul. Don't expect just the short stints and explosive innings, but over the course of nine innings, you look up and they usually have one more run than you do. Outside, ball two. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. 2-0 to count. Here it comes. Oh. And that one upstairs. Jackson Merrill in the San Diego on deck circle. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Hey. That one finds the zone. And now 3 and one hits like that one all day long and so could every hitting coach in the league just a nice line drive into center field first and second two outs and here's the rookie center fielder Jackson Merrill top of the zone for a called strike at this point the clean inning is over got to settle in focus on the hitter and get out of it with minimal damage two outs a couple of base runners at first and second That one the other way, and it stays fair. Rounds third, headed for the plate, and that rolls into the corner. He scores, and they lead by two. Now a relay to the plate, and he's out. Up down, and that ends the inning. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We'll move to the second now at Petco Park. It's the Padres two, and the Mariners nothing. Second inning set to go. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. That clips the corner. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. That's out to center field. Merrill has this one sized up. Makes the grab one down. So up next, Luke Rayleigh. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Swung on, belted. Way back there. And that's a fair ball. Into second with a double, and they've got something brewing now. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Man at second with one away. Mitch Garver up to hit here. 
right through there for a strike. There's a swing and a drive. And it's into the gap. The run comes in from second. It's 2-1. And that's a double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. One out, runner at second. Dominic Panzone up next for the Mariners. That's oh. down and in. Home one, no play. Garver, the runner at second with one away. Now fly ball to right center. Merrill on the move. Nice grab on the run. Runner tags it second, and he moves up to third. Now two away. The right Mid -hit. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. He's been really clutch with runners in scoring position this season, so they'll have to be extra careful in this matchup. of the zone for a strike. One one. Tying run in scoring position here at the top of the second. There's a strike. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Peralta squeezes it, and that'll do it. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in San Diego, David Peralta at the plate. The right field. And the right hater back to work. In for a strike. And it's 0 1. Oh, I got to call NLDS game four here in 2022 at Petco Park, where the Padres knocked out their rivals, the LA Dodgers. The place was just nuts the entire game. Terrific fan support. And the pitch. The punch out there, and that's the first out. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling. I think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that call third strike. Ha Sung Kim stands in now, looks at that one inside. Well, Kim is one of those players that it's just hard to take your eyes off of him, man. Not many players in the 2023 World Baseball Classic had more fun than he did. He hit a grand slam and a win against China, and earlier in the tournament, had a two-homer game, delivered some special moments for Korea. A swing and a soft liner. He's got it, and there's two away. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. And first offering is fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. That clips the corner. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. No runs, no hits, no errors. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Padres two and the Mariners one.
And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. Now the third baseman, Dylan Moore. Waldron back to work. And a foul ball left side. The wind of the pitch. Popped up. Cronenworth should have this one. And out number one on the grab. And stepping in for the Mariners, J.P. Crawford. Grounded out his first time up. And that drops in for a strike. That one lifted to left. Coming on pro far. He's there. He's got it. Here's Josh Rojas. He's over one. And there's a foul ball. The M's down by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Strike two. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Two outs. And yeah, that ball. skips in the dirt. One ball, two strikes, count. On the ground. And it goes just foul. Two out spaces empty. The next That's offering ball. misses. And the count is two and two. Short hop liner handled it short. And that's Got the third it. out. So they make short work of them there. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Padres two and the Mariners one. And we're back we go. as we go to the last of the third. And now the DH, Luis arrives. Here comes a pitch. And for a strike, going wrong. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Right through there for a strike. Absolutely throws it on that heater right down the middle, and that's a pitch you're just not getting back. Now he's in a tough spot, oh, especially count. after falling behind on a good first pick. Kicks and fires. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A.B. going. Why to kick the pitch? Goes down looking for the strikeout. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there. And he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. No, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter. But with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Profar climbs in on that left side. That one missed oh. by a lot. And it's one and oh. One out, base is empty. That's in there. And the count one and one. And that's downstairs and outside. We got two balls, one strike. The wind and the pitch. Line, and that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out there and lifted into the outfield for the base hit. Those are always for a break. Jake Cronenworth digs in now. Caught looking his first time up. Cronenworth, a seventh-round pick by the Rays in 2015 out of the University of Michigan, where he was a two-way guy. And in fact, the Rays used him that way. Close, but call the ball. One and oh. And, 
And he deals. Fouled off. He was late. Profar. At first, one gone. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Everything That's came together. Number for number textbook three. bat control right there. Maybe. Got a pitch on the outside, Mark. saw it deep no, into no. the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. Here's Machado. First time up was a pop out. Right down to shoot. Strike one. Sliders now in an 0 2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The other way, and he can't make the play. They get one. That was a productive at bat. You know you're doing something right anytime you help move two runners in the scoring position and give your team a chance to drive in a few runs, even if it's still kind of early in the game. Here's Donovan Solano. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. And that's outside. And that's ball one. Two outs, two in scoring position here in the last half of the third. And that's in for a strike. Good oh, eye in that spot. Two on, two outs. And that one fouled off. Pitch. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. He's in a tough spot. Had to make a great pitch. Did it. Got the strikeout. Gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Here's the second baseman, Cal Raleigh. Cal Raleigh. And here it comes. And that drops in for a strike. Ooh, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. When you're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. On the ground to the left. And that's just foul. Oh, and two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Oh, and two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Kicks and deals. Lifted in the air out to left. Profar has a beat on it. One away. So now the DH spot. Julio Rodriguez. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. The Mariners knew what they had. Signed him in July of 2017 for a little under $2 million when Rodriguez was just 16 years old out of the Dominican Republic. Off the mark there. And the count is 1 and 1. Fast forward to 2022 for Julio Rodriguez to win the Rookie of the Year. The Seattle Mariners were then compensated with the 29th overall pick in the first round of the draft in 2023. Part of the new CBA enticing teams to promote their good young players. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Peralta sizes this one up. Two down. Now that the seventh. Next to hit, Luke Rayleigh. 
a double and a run scored his first time up. There's a strike at the knees. On one. Rayleigh, 29 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2016. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Here's a high chopper, Cronenworth. Not in time, he's safe. Wasting no time, he's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Runner at first with two away. Mitch Garver getting ready to hit. Doubled his first time up. Swing and a foul straight back. Two outs. And that one fouled off. Keeps the event going with a foul ball. The 0 2. Just nope. misses the mark outside the zone. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. The pitch. Bows it off, still one and two. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out. One left for Seattle. They're down two to one. Bottom of the fourth, so digging in now for San Diego, Jackson Merrill. Jackson Merrill. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That one fouled off. You know, these Padres showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Up the middle, Raleigh. And a He's quick out. out, number one. Still relatively early, but up the pair of runs oh, already oh. on the board. The white right right right. after that high right. pitch count might set him up to do oh, more damage oh, oh. later in this game. Stepping in for San Diego, David Peralta. Struck out looking his first time. Just oh. missed. You know, the first manager to ever win a game here at Petco Park was Tony Gwynn. Yes, Tony Gwynn. They had a college baseball tournament here in March 2004, and Tony managed San Diego State to a win. One down, base is empty. Ripped, but it curls foul. The one, two. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely, and that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. And the batter will be the shortstop. Ha Sung Kim. He's 0 for 1. And That's the first the pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike.
Riding to the play. On the ground, a short could be two. Wide throw, and it gets away. And he'll reach second with one away. Every double play turn starts with game one, and even though these players work on these plays during batting practice over and over again, sometimes at game speed you can still mess it up. Could have been two outs. Instead, they get nothing. Next to hit, Kyle Higashioka. Golden opportunity right here. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Count one and oh. Peralta, the runner at third. Kim at second with one away. That one out to right. Hanniger puts it away. Runner tagging from third. The throw is offline. He's saved. It's 3-1. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Luis Arise stands in. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's at full speed. There's a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. Ripped on a line. Hanniger makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. One run, one hit, one error, and one left. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Padres three, and the Mariners one. New inning getting started, and now for Seattle, Dominic Panzone. Dominic Panzone. Waldron back to work. And yeah, that's a little bit high. And that is ball one. Well, these Mariners, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. The right group. Mid now it's the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty Go much all down. game. And that's in the dirt. Headed down the line. And that drops foul. Base is empty one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing oh, up there most of the time. Just off the inside corner. It's two and two. Fights it off. You'll see another. Center field. Merrill sizing this one up. Falls it in. Two away. Now that out. Here's the Dylan Moore. He popped out his first time. Moore. Ball That's one, out. no strikes. Ah. And that drops in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Swinging a foul straight back. Fights that one away, still one and two. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Two outs. Right through there, got it. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nobody left for Seattle. Score holds. It's 3-1. Bottom of 
the inning. Now batting jerks in profile. The right hander back to work. That Ball one misses. Ball one. Action in the bullpen for Seattle. Bryce Miller up and throwing. Bizarro warming up as well. And the right hander deals. Rip to short. Snagged on a bounce. Zips it to oh. first. Profar is out. The batter, no number nine, nine. second baseman. Now it's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. There's a strike. Great strike right there. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's That's mind as to the conviction in the call. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. In the air, left field, down the line. Ken Zone flashes the leather on the run and catch. Outstanding catch right there, and I love the commitment that he showed. He knew that the wall was close, but was determined to make that catch, and a nice calculation of just how much room he had to try to minimize that contact. Machado in the box again, takes a strike. In the air, right field, and it's foul. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. One ball. That one missing Two inside. Break. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. And that one is out of here. His 13th home run of the season, it's 4-1. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Emerson Hancock is done. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Righty reliever out of the pen, Bryce Miller. He's into the game with the bases empty. Now pitching for Seattle. Number 50, Bryce Miller. So two away with nobody on. Donovan Solano, the next up for the Padres. First pitch, just misses. Right-hander kicks, deals. I got a ball, one strike. This one high in the air to left center. Settles underneath it. Brings it in. And that is the third out of the inning. But the Padres add to the lead on a solo homer. It's now 4-1. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here in San Diego, start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton and leading off, J.P. Crawford. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. And a strike in there. The 1-1. One, one. Foul ball there. 
and a pitch. And a ball evens the count. Got him looking. One gone here. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Rojas in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game and sometimes from at bat to at bat. One down, base is empty. And that drops in for a strike. And the righty deals. And he grounds one to the right side. Cronenworth whips it to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the six. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And up next for Seattle, Cal Raleigh. There's a strike. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Sliced hard, but foul. And down on strikes. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. 6-7-8 due in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Padres 4 and the Mariners 1. Well, we go bottom six, and now the center fielder, Jackson Merrill. The pitch. That oh. misses, and that's ball one. Action in the pen down there. Trent Thornton appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. Bauman getting cranked up as well. The wind of the pitch. And that one fouled off. This is off the inside. And a count two and one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And the pitch. High fly ball out to center field. Rayleigh makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Now back, right fielder. David Peralta, the next up for the Padres. One for two. And that's in for a strike. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Nope. Next offering is downstairs. Right-handed reliever. Just oh, misses with that one. Tough take right there. He swings at that more often than not. And they'll do it again. Three. And down on strikes he goes. That's out number two. The batter, the batter number, number seven. seven. Now it's the shortstop, Hassan Kim. You talked about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. That's in there. Strike one. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Two down, nobody on. 
Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Three up, three down for San Diego as they hold on to a 4-1 lead. going to be Julio Rodriguez the Mariners in striking distance but have some work to do Boog it starts with the leadoff man I need a good at bat out of him right here there's the swing and a miss activity in the bullpen for the Padres Jeremiah Estrada appears to be getting loose Morahal the lefty warming up as well swings here and blasts one left field and it's off the wall. And that's a leadoff double. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Yeah, yeah, Anytime yeah. you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. And stepping in for the Mariners, Luke Rayleigh. Kim throws the first. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. Up next for Seattle, the catcher, Mitch Garver. Up next for the Mariners. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Man at second. And another ball. Next offering way upstairs. pitch strike one hey. on the ground to third and it's through for a hit around third He'll score easily, and it's now a two-run game. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Now the left fielder, Dominic Panzone. Clips the corner. And it's 0-1. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Overall, two strikes. Base side. Two down. And now for Seattle, Mitch Hanniger. First pitch, and he just misses.
the tying run at the plate. New ball, no strike. Ground ball up the middle, and that one handled. Out. They take the force out, and that is that. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 4-2. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh, Trent Thornton. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. And now Leading Kyle up, Higashioka. The catcher. Kyle. In his fourth year, 30 years old now. And they went out and made a trade for him last season. And he deals. Foul ball. Swing and a miss as he was late. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. One in ball. the dirt, the McCall wanted two. At the belt and fires. That one misses, and the count's full. Goes down looking. Now it's the DH. Luis arrives. One for three. That's the third. More. Tosses across the first. Two up, two down. The left with you. Number 10. Yurik Two outs, base is empty. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Jerks and Profar. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Well, they say it's the best pitch in baseball, strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. Gives you a little bit more confidence to move through the at-bat. Right through there for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Two outs. Foul ball still 0-2. Here comes a pitch. Now this is in the air down the line. Hanniger sizing it up. And that is that. Welcome back and a new arm of the mound to start the eight. Adrian Morahone. He's certainly been one of their better relief pitchers this season. The numbers are really solid, so they feel great about handing the ball over to him. Now, Dylan Moore. The third base. Dylan Moore. The why to kick the pitch. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Now one ball, one one. Right. 
And a foul ball. And now the lefty. Got him swinging on that pitch away to finish him off, but everything early in the at bat was in tight. Really challenged him in there with some competitive pitches, not letting him get his hands extended, but of course that eventually opens up the outside part of the plate, and he just wasn't able to adjust. So the batting order turns over. J.P. Crawford, the next to hit. Liner, base hit. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. That line drive isn't going to light up StatCast or anything like that, but he gets the job done. And he just kind of caught it on a weird spot of the bat, but he didn't get cheated with the swing, that's for sure. And now, Josh Rojas clips the outside corner, and that is strike one. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Sizes this one up. Drops into the glove. And there are two down. Now that second base. Cal Rowe. And up next for Seattle, Cal Raleigh. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. To the right side, Cronenworth. In plenty of time to first. That's the third out. Mariners leave one. They trail it here, four to two. Here's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Thornton back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. One finds the zone, and it's 0-2. Left-hand batter waits. Stays alive. The 0-2. One ball, two strikes. Tap back up the middle. Crawford. Now the throw to first on the run. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Here's Manny Machado. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch, not close. Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's outside. Well, you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Here's a 2-1. Wouldn't Whoa, chase yeah. that time. And a pitch. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base no, no, no. with a quick free pass. Man at first with one gone. Next for the Padres, Donovan Solano. We 
Ball. Just missed. Ball one, Machado, no the base runner at first with one out. That's a strike. One and one. And he's swinging to miss. One ball, two strikes. Good job to fight that one off. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. That's and ball. another ball. He goes down looking. Up next, the hot hot. Man at first. first so digging in now for San Diego, Jackson Merrill. Oh. First pitch misses. Oh, and there's a ball. Two outs. Inside got almost got him. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. for the Mariners, Mike Bauman. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year, so the defense should be active. So two on with two away. And now the right fielder, David Peralta. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. The 0 1. Hammered on the line to the left, base hit. Here comes Machado around third. They'll get back to pad their lead up to three. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. That yep, one, one not close. One and oh. First and second, two down. In for a strike, and now it's even one and one. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Around third. He'll score, and they're up by four. That's three singles in a row. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Kyle Higashioka, the next up for the Padres. To third. Into the outfield base hit. Coming home. He scores. It's 7-2. 
Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Back to the top of the lineup. Now a chance for Luis Arias. Line to left. Kenzone makes the grab, and that'll do it. So they get three runs, four hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Padres seven and the Mariners two. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Aniel De Los Santos. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. So now here's the DH, Julio Rodriguez. Julio Rodriguez. The wind of the pitch. High fly ball out to left field. One down. Ooh, he was all over that first pitch fastball, but just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. He's two outs away. And stepping in for the Mariners, Luke Rayleigh. That one a little bit high, and that's ball one. Activity in the bullpen for San Diego, number 39. Up and loosening in the pen, Peralta, the power lefty, up as well. The Padres leading by five here at the top of the ninth. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. And it is two and one. And he fires in a fastball at 95. Strikes through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch now. himself. That slider had hit me written all uh -huh. over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. And first offering is fouled off. Swings through that. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. De Los Santos is just one strike away. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. 7 2 your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.